right there, what you just saw, is a quick doodle of what I had just purchased yesterday, which is this 1984 Coleman Crawdad, which is right here in front of you. And this is about to be turned into a project boat. And what I plan by the time I'm done with it is to turn this Coleman Crawdad into a river floater, mainly for fly fishing off of. And that sketch right there is what I'm gonna draw and just lay everything out before I go step by step into making it. So my next step that I wanna take on doing this, I wanna get these seats off, the front and the back one, that way I can lay the plywood out. Cause I plan on covering the whole thing so you're just standing on one big platform. So I'm gonna take this seat and that seat off and then measure out the layout to where I can kind of go off putting just one solid sheet of plywood across it. There's two. There we go. Now what I want to worry about is getting this front deck off and that way once I have it off I can kind of lay my plywood out just to at least figure out the front portion of the boat for now and then I'll focus on the back later on. Now that I got that top pulled off, you can kind of see how old and gross it is just from sitting outside and everything, everything's there. I didn't really think that there'd be foam under there. Uh, I'll just clean this foam off, vacuum everything, and probably end up keeping that there and then lay the um, ply whatever top of it and we'll just go from there. This framing is coming off the front. I'm gonna put all that back in after I clean it off. So as of right now, I just want to focus on this whole front portion, maybe back to the middle right here. I don't want to take that off yet because I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with it. What I'm thinking, in case I fish for panfish on the river, is this gonna be river floater. Colder to be a live well, so I'm thinking about setting it up against that, and I'll build a deck around that so it slides in and either run the battery from a compartment I put through here or making a compartment right back here to run the wires but I haven't decided that yet so it's kind of where I stand I just gotta figure everything out what I want to do with it got our plywood now I'll just lay it out I'm gonna run the inside with of where this lines up to where it starts to bend in and I'll just run that the whole way back to the length well at least from right there and then I'll have to measure how wide it starts in the back It's 7.30 at night. I started this at about 12.30, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. So I have about six, six and a half hours into it. I decided to take the back off, which I wasn't going to take off before. And underneath was Bee's Nest, which 
it's old it wouldn't have mattered but it shows what's been down in there so I'm glad I took it off and I'll clean all that out and then probably start that in the morning and I got the first platform on it's a little snug you will need some fitting and carpeted but so far it's going pretty good Alright, so a little update, and I've kind of just been majoring and cutting stuff. I was, went in last night, it was dark, so you, I couldn't really film anything that's being cut, and I just cut my back piece, so that's coming along. Um, I'm going to put it down through, and I'm debating whether or not to put a trolling motor on it, but this will be the hatch, which just fits halfway, so it gives space in that area for the trolling motor mount to mount on. I'll put the battery down in that hole. And then I don't know exactly what I want to do with the center yet. If I want to do two strips across or just one big one and leave half open and slide the rods back in. So that's where I'm at. sit down like this so I think that'll do as of right now I'm pretty much done I got the layout out but I gotta wait till I can take all these sheets of plywood in the house and then paint it so I can seal it and then carpet it so it's pretty much done the layout I didn't get too um, fancy on hatches and everything just it's a pretty small boat and for what I want it for to be on top to fly fish out of I kind of don't I just want a solid base, so I have my hatch here to put the battery in. And when I run the aerator, the bilge out of the cooler, I'll just run wire all the way back underneath to that battery as well. And then this will stay open just to set backpacks and whatever else we have. And we can slide it underneath back in here or up front under that piece of plywood. And then all of our rods can hang out facing back this way. And yeah, I think that's about it right now. So. I'm kind of like held up because I got to paint this plywood, but I got to do it inside. So all this in front of you right here is kind of just stuff I'm going to put inside the boat. Um, I got this PVC and fittings that I'm going to make into a push pull, just bends to put these essentials in just in case something would happen. And then that top one I'm going to use just for garbage when you're floating down the river, just food wraps and drinks and everything. But I got all that right there for about 25, 30 bucks. So it was pretty cheap. So I got all the PVC cut and essentially we just put the adapter together. I have it, it's a five foot section and it gets a little long with the adapter because it don't go in the whole way but then I put caps on the ends just so I have some type of blunt impact and water's not getting in it. Then you just put it in if you get into real shallow water and then I mean it's going to be a little flexible but it's just to kind of push off the bank if we start drifting into a bank or if it's just real shallow kind of just help drift my way through instead of keeping big paddles on the boat and I can just break it down as I bought these twist boards for I just twist it all together all the parts and then tuck it under the boat and I'm good to go alright so I got all my boards painted and these are all drilled in and the front's drilled in because since it's such a tight fit because I didn't measure out for these beams right here like the rails going across that like divot it's kind of real snug so I won't fit it with carpet around it so I got a carpet over top of it and I'll just lay the flaps cover up all the empty space and I got support beams in for the platform that I'm going to put there to walk across and after I carpet this main stuff I'll put that in it's done <clears throat> getting all this slack in there part of it's from having this middle part there so I gotta cut that out where I put the cooler down in is the live well and that should pull some of the slack in depending on how I pull it forward to give it a nice tighter fit. I'll 
whole lot, but good enough. All right, well, the boat's pretty much finished now. I finished carpeting everything and screwing everything in yesterday. I kind of tweaked a couple odds and ends, but it turned out pretty good so far. The latch on the back for the battery to go down in the back. I got vacuum everything still. Just a bunch of parts from the carpet cutting it. Um, it's not perfect, but it, it'll, it's just a river floater. It'll do. I still got to order the bilge that I'm going to run in the aerator. And I'll run wire all the way back to the battery in the back. And this foam, I'm still debating whether or not to do it. But I was thinking about kind of putting like a strip there. So when you're fishing, if you just cut something off... Like I'd have it glued in place, just put the hook in there instead of throwing it on the carpet and then it's it's just it's in there, it's not floating around everywhere, but I don't know. But yeah, that's the build and hope you enjoyed.